Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Got a question on the email here from uh, Max. Max is writing in. He says, Sir, I wish to ask for your opinion on the following. I own a Canon 5D Mark IV with a 24-70 to EF and 100-400 to EF lenses. I am considering getting the Canon M50 an adapter so that I can use it with the long telephoto zoom to get that extra reach when I'm photographing nature and wildlife. Please kindly give me your thoughts on this combination as well if I were to add a 1.4 extender with it. Thank you. Respectfully, Mr. Max. Well, thank you, Max, uh, for your question. The immediate thing that comes to mind is I'm super pumped, as you may have seen from my videos on the M50. And I think for my own reasons, I would get the M50 over the M5. Namely because even though we have a little bit of a crippled 4K video, it does have 4K video. I think it's basically the first APS-C camera from Canon, first crop sensor camera that has 4K video. So I would rather have that than not have it. It also is one of the newest offerings from Canon. And I would just look at that myself um, over the M5. Not to say the M5 isn't a decent choice. If there's other reasons you would prefer an M5 over the M50, I'm not steering you away from it. I think the idea of using it with your telephoto lenses and with a 1.4 adapter is a great idea. I would just consider uh, the M50 as well as or perhaps over the M5. So to answer your question, yes, I think that's a great idea to consider one of the M series cameras. And if the M5 is the one that you would like, I think that would suit you well with your long lens. I just want to throw it out there that maybe you wish to consider the newer, recently announced, soon to be available M50, which is 4K video capable and just a newer iteration of it. So, uh, but I think that's a great idea to make use of the crop sensor in those bodies, smaller and lighter, with your long lenses and with a 1.4 extender. I think the 1.4 extender would probably serve you well. My thoughts on those is the 1.4 extender tends to work very well with uh, most lenses, as long as they're not limited by speed. Some lenses are too slow to work with it. I don't believe the 1 to 400 is one of those. I think it works f fine with the 1.4 extender. Um, I'll, my viewers can jump right on me and correct me if I'm wrong on that one. I'm just going from memory, but I do recall, if, if I recall correctly, 100 to 400 and the 1.4 work nicely together. It's the 100 to 400 is not a super fast lens, so it may slow down your speed of autofocus a little bit, but I do believe they still work okay together. Um, and so putting those together on a crop sensor body, you're going to get some very nice reach. Again, the M50 is the one I would go with because I would want the 4K. But if you don't need that and you prefer the M5, then by all means. Let's throw it back to our viewers. What would you guys do? Are you along my lines of thinking, that, hey, with the new M50 out, in fact, it has 4K and, you know, it's a newer camera, that's the way you would go? Or do you think the M5 is the way you would go here? Do you think it's his initial premise, though, of using one of the M-series bodies? So presumably because it's smaller and lighter, but also to get that extra reach with the sensor for the 100 to 400 lens and using a 1.4 extender. Do you think it's a good idea? Do you agree with me that that's the way you would go? Do you disagree? Let us know in the comments below. What camera body would you go with? Do you agree with the idea of using um, the long lens here, the 100 to 400 and a 1.4 extender on an M-series body? Let us know in the comments below. Let's help out Max. Um, Always great to hear back from you guys. Sometimes some feedback I hadn't mentioned or hadn't thought of, and it just rounds out our viewers' uh, responses, gives them some other stuff to go on to base their um, decision when they're going to buy something here. Thanks, guys, and uh, thanks for your question, Max. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.